conversations coming your way from the Mumbai first event, looking at the possibilities of turning Mumbai into a mega city, with of course some chapters and some learnings coming in from the European Union. Well, joining us now is Mr. A.K. Jain, who's the additional Chief Secretary, Government of Maharashtra, and of course he's been presenting some thoughts on water management. So we will get to that in just a bit. It's great to have you here to talk to you. Uh, but let me start with a slightly broader general question. Uh, how does the government of Maharashtra really see the city of Mumbai right now? Because, of course, within the larger plethora of issues of governance, um, you know, where does Mumbai really stand and how is the government looking at the city's development? Mm -hmm. yeah, as you know, Mumbai uh, is considered as the financial capital of the country and it drives the economy of both India as well as Maharashtra in particular. So, to the government of Maharashtra, Mumbai's development or improving Mumbai is extremely important. There's no doubt about it. I mean, if Maharashtra, if uh, say grows at eight percent, Mumbai's growth would be say about ten or eleven percent. So its uh, position is very important in Maharashtra. Sure, sure. Um, is there any kind of a broad framework, or what's the thought process now um, at your level as you're uh, sort of dealing with different uh, arms of the civic agencies as to sort of what is the roadmap? What are the most important issues for the government when it comes to the city? But talking about Mumbai, the most important issue in Mumbai is to improve its infrastructure. Uh, Mumbai has grown uh, into a megapolis. Uh, we've got about 12 million people living in Mumbai. There are issues of uh, affordable housing, there are issues of infrastructure, there are issues of water supply. So we need huge investment in the city to improve its infrastructure. Now constitutionally speaking, uh, uh, Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai is the constitutional authority to develop infrastructure and provide basic services to the citizens of Mumbai. But considering its limitation, government of Maharashtra has been pumping a lot of money through Mumbai Metropolitan Regional Development Authority. Mm -hmm. And uh, much of the new infrastructure that you see in the city, maybe sea bridge or uh, flyovers and now metro and more rail, almost about to start, that has been done by the government of Maharashtra. Mm -hmm. And that is basically to complement the efforts made by the municipal mm -hmm. corporation. Is there any effort right now to see that execution rates start improving and timelines start shrinking? Because that seems to be the need of the hour going by what we hear from citizens and experts alike. Yeah, that's an issue. I mean, many of our projects have, uh, uh, have been delayed. But Mumbai has a typical problem. Mumbai is a well-planned city, but it's an old city where much of the utilities are underground. Whenever you start any infrastructure project, you start digging, then you counter that there's a, there's a water pipeline or a sewerage pipeline or some other utility going underground. That's one major cause of delay and it's very difficult to map these utilities. Of course, there are issues related to environment and there are, you know, opposition by some environmental group because we are a coastal city. That's also another area where mm -hmm. uh, uh, delay has really kept, crept in. Okay. So let's focus a bit on water uh, itself. Uh, what are sort of the major challenges or what is the big agenda when it comes to better manage management of sewage, better utilization of water in the city? The, the main theme in this conference on water was uh, water is limited. I mean, water is not something which is unlimited. Uh, and that's one thing which is required to be flagged. Uh, there is a natural hydrological cycle which, you know, provides water through a process of, as they call, uh, evaporation, condensation and precipitation. At times we feel that this is unlimited, which is not the case. Last two years, in fact, the state of Maharashtra underwent a very severe drought. And there was, I mean, even Mumbai resources were running out practically. Fortunately, we had timely rain this monsoon. Otherwise, things would have been very difficult. Now, that has made everybody to realize the, the importance of water. Number two, urban, I mean, the water that comes to urban areas is also demanded by other sectors. Now, there is a demand for agriculture. There's demand for industry, there's demand for power supply. So water being constant or this quantity being constant and being competitive demands being there, it is the need of the hour to use it very, very efficiently mm -hmm. and not allow it to waste and not allow its resources to be polluted. Right. That's the main message coming out. Right, right. Uh, so as we look forward uh, uh, to the new year 2014, what are sort of top of mind most important critical issues uh, that perhaps you'd be involved with with respect to the city and its development? Well, uh, we have a new project which is coming up, Middle Vetana is going to be commissioned. That is, I said in the conference, it's not a new water, but a new storage facility mm -hmm. that's going to augment water supply in mm -hmm. Mumbai. Number two, we need to, and I think BMC has already taken initiative, to start a project of 24 by 7 water supply. And we should have all, all our water pipelines charged 24 by 7 
so that there's no contamination, there's no need to store water at home and then spill over next morning. So I think in the coming year, focus should be on 24 by 7 water supply. So before we wrap up, just to come back to an interesting point that was raised in the conference yesterday, uh, the thought or the concept of maybe a CEO of Mumbai, someone who can really take responsibility mm -hmm. and can be the, the name and face of the city. Uh, I, I wonder if that will even find resonance within, within the government. Well, I think this issue has been discussed a number of times. Mm -hmm. Not even now, it has been discussed last 10 years. Uh, you see, we have to see the constitution set up in the country. Mm -hmm. We have a federal government at the Delhi level, we have got the state government, and at the city level we have the urban local body, which is a constitutional body right. after 73rd mm -hmm. amendment in the constitution, mm -hmm. 73rd and 74th amendment in the constitution. So constitutionally speaking, they are the local government. But I think with Mumbai, the problem is we have a you know a multiplicity of bodies, a lot of bodies, and then coordination between That's right. Them. It's bound to be. It's a different city. We've got, uh, got government of India agency, we've got army, navy, air force, ports, mm -hmm. railways, airports, etc. There are bound to be a plethora of agencies. Mm -hmm. need, we need to have better coordination you know, among these agencies. And government of India, uh, government of Maharashtra, under the leadership of the President's Chief Minister, the Chief Secretary, they are, there are several forums where we are coordinating with them, we are talking to each other and resolve problems. Okay, well we hope for a better 2014 for the city. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, oh.